Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. So uh, it's obvious that Deontay Wilder wants nothing more than to fight Anthony Joshua in his next fight. But that's probably not going to happen. We're probably going to have to wait till the summer of 2018 at the latest um, fall 2018. But that fight should happen next year. If it doesn't, we go in on Anthony Joshua. Now, Wilder has mentioned that he'll settle for Joseph Parker in a unification bout. But interestingly enough, he says he's even willing to fight Luis Ortiz. You know, Luis Ortiz was given an exception by the WBC. They decided not to suspend him for any length of time. So he's still ranked number three by the WBC. I would still like to see Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz before the Anthony Joshua fight. You know, let's keep it real. Deontay Wilder needs a legitimate name on his resume. Now, if he were to fight Luis Ortiz and beat Luis Ortiz, I would give him full credit. And I think he has he stands a good chance at, at beating Luis Ortiz, at knocking him out, actually. Now, let me get into Deontay Wilder's statement. Um, let's see here. Yeah, he says he wants to punish Ortiz. Where's the quote at? Hang on a second. Okay, whatever. No, I'm not going to read off any quote. He basically says he wants to punish Ortiz. Uh, you know, if Ortiz is going to fight somebody next, why not fight Wilder? Um, but still, it's still a good fight to make. Uh, man, I was so upset when, you know, that whole drug thing happened, man. And, man, it was just frustrating. And then the fact that Wilder fought Stavern, and even though he knocked Stavern out in the first round, you know, it's it's like obvious that he was going to beat Stavern. I mean, Stavern hadn't fought for a couple years. He just wasn't prepared for that fight. It would make sense for Wilder to fight Luis Ortiz. But you know what I like that Wilder's doing right now? I'm seeing him cross over to other forms of media. You know, he just did that, I guess, hottest chip in the world challenge, which is pretty cool. Um, it seems like he's trying to push his name out there. He's trying to get himself out there. He just did an interview with, I think it was ESPN or Fox Sports, one of the two, um, you know, a boxing interview. So I like what he's doing. I like the promotion that he's he's undergoing. He just needs to get some legitimate competition on his resume. And Luis Ortiz is someone that he needs on his resume. He needs to get that, that win against Ortiz, man. It's it's needed. It's really needed at this time. Like his resume is trash, and you know he's he's tried to fight these guys, the Pavek and the, the Ortiz's man. But it's not his fault that these dudes are popping dirty. It's not his fault that these dudes are on something, man. But at the same time, it doesn't excuse it doesn't excuse things. You know, uh, at the end of the day, he still got. 39 fights, 38 knockouts. He's knocked out everybody he's been in the ring with. But, again, who has he faced? What competition, what threats has he faced? Who is his Klitschko? He doesn't have one. He doesn't have that marquee name on his resume, man. And I think after he gets a Luis Ortiz on his, his resume, man, he'll be a little bit better off. So, hopefully this fight can be made. Hopefully Ortiz can declare that he's taking blood pressure medication, or any sort of medication that could be perceived as him trying to mask a drug in his system. Hopefully, if this fight gets negotiated, there's no funny business this time. Let me know what you guys think. Do you still want to see Deontay Wilder fight Luis Ortiz? I do. I would love to see it next. I think it needs to happen next, especially since the WBC has made Luis Ortiz or allowed him to continue to hold his number three ranking in the WBC. Let me know what you guys think. Hitman Boxing, I'm out.